Jim had 85 rupees in his piggy bank. His father, Mr. David, gave him 15 rupees for getting an A grade in dictation. He took the change and gave a 100 rupees note to Jim. Jim was extremely excited and kept going from room to room holding his piggy bank. In the evening, the ice cream vendor came and Jim asked for an ice cream. His mother told him, Jim, you have 100 rupees note, why don't you pay for your chocobar? Immediately, Jim took out his 100 rupees note and paid for his ice cream. After enjoying the ice cream, Jim again sat down with his piggy bank and started counting the money. On counting his money, he was shocked to see that he no longer had 100 rupees. He started crying. Where is my money? Where is my money? When his mother tried to tell him that, since he has spent money for the ice cream and will be left with less money, but all was in vain. Jim's mother, who was extremely patient, took out 101 rupee coins. She asked Jim to count the 85 coins. When Jim had counted the 85 coins, she said, Jim, you had 85 rupees. Your father gave you 15 rupees more. When we add 85 plus 15, we get 100. So you had 100 rupees. When you bought a choco bar for 15 rupees, you were left with 100 minus 15 is equal to 85 rupees. Do you understand now how your money has become less? Stop crying. I will give you 15 rupees and when you add 85 plus 15, once again you will have 100 rupees. Be careful, learn to save money. Jim understood what his mom was trying to explain and said, Yes, mom. My teacher has also taught me that addition and subtraction are inverse operations. Recap There is an inverse relationship between addition and subtraction. If a math fact is considered, for example, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. Then the following are also true. 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. Similar relationships exist for subtraction. For example, 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. Then the following are also true. 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. 7 plus 3 is equal to 10.